Since inception, F4D's League of Gentlemen Award has celebrated distinguished men from around the globe who harness the power of fashion and other industries to advance the UN, the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Now, our next recipient exemplifies the ideals under which this was conceived. He is the founder and chief executive officer of the Arab Fashion Council, AFC, the world's largest nonprofit council and international non-governmental organization that represents 22 Arab countries that are members of the Arab League. He has been at the helm of this council since 2012, and then he was just 22 years old. Just 22. This milestone positioned him as the youngest founder in the world to represent an international organization. Now, as an ambassador of the Arab fashion and design, Jacob is also responsible for setting up the proper infrastructure of fashion from retail to commerce and to education. This brother is impressive. Please join me in welcoming this year's League of Gentlemen Award recipient, Jacob Abrian. Dear First Ladies, distinguished guests, his, Your Excellency and Your Highness, um, I'm very proud and impressed to be here and I would like to say thank you very much for um, EV for giving me this chance to be in front of you. And um, it was such a journey that I'm really proud of. Um, I call myself um, citizen of the world because I really don't believe in boundaries. I love every country I feel comfortable in. But I was born in Lebanon, and I grew up in Italy. And this gave me the chance to study architecture and then to become a model. And when I became a model, I had the chance to travel around the world and to meet many designers. And I discovered how many Arab designers and Arab talents we have are um, desperately struggling and scattered around the world looking for opportunities, for equal opportunities which we find in um, Italy, in Europe, in America, in London. And I was kind of jealous in a positive way because I would, I would love to give the same opportunities to um, the Arab talent to express themselves and to achieve the same way as um, designers in Europe they can achieve. That's why we have so many designers around the world from the Arab world um, trying to find opportunities in London and Milan and, and New York. And this because we don't have the infrastructure in the Arab region. So when I was 22, I was, um, what should we do? What should we create? And then um, I received all the support from, from Italy. And I'm, I'm really um, proud of this and from London to establish the Arab Fashion Council, which is International Extraterritorial Authority representing 22 Arab countries part of the Arab League. And the main vision of the council is to create a creative economy in the Arab region but a creative economy which is connecting us all together through the positive change and through the positive creativity of art, which is fashion. Um, the Arab words, we are 22 countries, we are over 400 million inhabitants, and what's special about us, that we all speak the same language, we all eat the same food, we all eat hummus, the bully, and we all listen to Fairuz and Umm Kulthum, which is, we can be so united, but at the same time we are so ununited then let's fashion unite us. Egypt has been historically the most important country for producing and exporting cotton around the world. Tunisia for the fabric, which is now one of the fifth most important country. And um, that's why we started to categorize the Arab world into three main categories. Um, the North African countries into the group of resourcing the textile and fabric, which is the basic thing for the fashion to start. Then the Levant countries like Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Palestine for the manufacturing cluster, and the Gulf countries like Dubai, Saudi Arabia, and um, Kuwait, Qatar for um, the marketing and retail, which is, if you think about it, it's like all together as like Italy, where the fabric comes from Como, the production comes from um, in Naples, in, in Florence, but it's all connecting the Arab countries into one system, which is the infrastructure of fashion industry. Then um, how to change and rebrand the Arab world. We founded the Arab Fashion Week, which is today one of the five most important fashion events. And we hosted the Arab Fashion Week for nine consecutive editions in Dubai. We did the first fashion week in the history of Saudi Arabia supporting the reform of the country and allowing the women to um, express themselves freely and on the catwalk. 
That was an impressive journey. I can say it was really beautiful. I got my, my white hair at age of 26. Like I was in front of the mirror and I saw white hair like from where this is coming. I'm still young, but it's because um, it really takes time for the journey to express itself. And um, the main aim of this fashion infrastructure is to put 120 million women from the Arab world to find a job in the creative economy, to allow their kids to freely go to school and to achieve their education, uh, which will indirectly support um, their families economically and indirectly will seize the illegal immigration to Europe from the north of Africa. And we still continue to support a label which we created, AFC Green Label, to support um, all the designers that they are taking ecological and ethical approach and responsible approach for the fashion industry. And um, again, um, thank you very much for this opportunity. And I would like to remind you all that we are here for the same, key, for the same reason. And my cause is a, just a beautiful journey of fashion for development. Thank you.